Now let's understand how exactly the valuation exercise works as well. So let's understand the terms or nomenclature which we'll be using and we'll see a simple numerical on top of this as well. So let's say N is the number of outstanding shares. S0 is the current stock price for each share. Now imagine that a company issues M number of warrants with a strike price of K. Now let's say that the stock price is ST at a certain time T. Now the adjusted stock price now, why we require this adjusted stock price? Because we have to factor in the dilution effect because we know by definition, whenever a warrant has to be uh, issued or whenever the holder of the warrant is going to exercise that, now company will need to factor in those additional shares. Right? So for that purpose, this dilution effect needs to be taken into consideration. So the adjusted stock price will be N into S0, which is the number of current outstanding shares into the current stock price, plus the number of warrants into the strike price for each warrant upon the number of shares plus the number of warrants. Also, a couple of adjustments which are required in the basic BSM equation. Now, the stock price S0 will be replaced by the adjusted stock price, taking into consideration the dilution impact. Also, the value of the warrant is going to uh, going to get uh, going to be related with the current option price but that for that purpose again we have to take into consideration the dilution impact because when we say equity it is not just plain equity now it is common equity plus the warrants and that's why this fraction of adjustment is required as well and this is how that value can be adjusted where n is the number of shares and m is the number of warrants as mentioned above so to see this, these formulas in action, let's go through a simple numerical. Now, the things on the left-hand side of the yellow bar are given to us. So stock price, strike price, walls, interest rates, time to maturity and dividend yield. For convenience, we have just taken dividend yield as zero. Now, to solve these numbers, we have done a small working here. Now, on the exam, it may be asked that uh, if the company decides to issue a warrant, then how much do you expect a stock price to decline by? So, we have done a small working here. So, the, uh, we have assumed a five-year option because we, we, we have been given a T of five years. We calculate the value of call and put options. We'll focus on the call option for now. Uh, the put option has been done just for reference purposes for, for the moment. Now, after plugging in the formulas, or plugging the numbers into the Black Shows formula, we get the call price to be around $7. Now, let's see what adjustments need to be done to account for the warrants. Now, for, the, for that purpose, we have taken a few inputs so as to understand this numerically. Now, number of outstanding shares are 1 million. So, based on this, the current market capitalization of the company is 1 million into 40, which is basically 40 million. Now, number of warrants to be issued, we have taken it as 200,000 warrants. Value per warrant, 5.87. We know this formula. So, value per warrant is the value per option into this fractional adjustment, which takes into consideration the more number of equity shares, right? So, so it's not just plain equity, but also the effect of warrants which has to be done. So N upon N plus M. So value per warrant is 5.87. Now, total cost of warrant, easy to calculate. We take the number of warrants into value per warrant. We get to this number. Now, what will be the impact on the market price? Because we know that when the company decides to issue warrants, we expect a decline in the stock price. That has to that basically shows the dilution effect of issuing warrants. So the reduced market price will be the current market capitalization N into S0 minus the total cost of warrants M into W, which gives us this number. Now, based on this, the new share price which can be implied is this value divided by the number of shares that gives us 38.83. And reduction in the share price is $1.17 dollars. That is the conclusion which we give here. The stock price is expected to decline by $1.17 as soon as the decision to issue warrants becomes known to the market.